Foldex Cat vs Persian Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The history of the Foldex begins in 1992 in Quebec, Canada when they first started popping up on the scene. The breed was a big draw when they began appearing in cat shows due to their super cute looks. A lot of the subsequent development of the Foldex is credited to a breeder named Jean Barrett. The Foldex was officially granted full championship status by the Canadian Cat Association in 2010. The Persian is an old breed. To those who love this elegant cat, it will come as no surprise that the long-haired beauty originated in the cradle of civilization, Mesopotamia, which was later known as Persia and is now modern-day Iran. The breed's long hair was probably the result of a natural mutation, and its striking appearance attracted the attention of 17th-century Italian nobleman and world traveler Pietro della Valle, who is credited with bringing the first long-haired cats to Europe in 1626. The Foldex is a breed of cat that you'll see in almost every cat color available, and in patterns that include tabby and calico. When it comes to grooming, this will totally depend on whether your Foldex is a long or short-haired kitty. If you have a short-haired Foldex, brushing their coat once a week should suffice. But a long-haired Foldex will require more frequent brushing to help lessen the chances of hairballs and mats forming. Aim for every other day although the breed will happily take to daily brushing sessions. In terms of climate, the Foldex is generally an adaptable breed of cat. Although you should always make sure that there's enough shade and fresh water available during the hotter months. The Persian has a distinctive appearance, a large, round head, large, round eyes, a short nose, full cheeks, and small ears with rounded tips. The head is supported by a short, thick neck and a deceptively sturdy, muscular body, a type known as kabi. A Persian's legs are short, thick, and strong with large, round, firm paws. The tail is short but proportional to the length of the cat's body. It's long all over the body and includes an immense ruff around the neck, a deep frill between the front legs, long ear and toe tufts, and a full brush, or tail. Persians can come in different looks. Some, known as peak face Persians, have an extremely flat face. Think twice about the breathing problems such a cat might have before deciding to get one. Doll face Persians are said to have a more old-fashioned appearance, with a face that is not as flat as the show Persian or the peak face Persian. Persians of all stripes stand out for their infinite variety of coat colors and patterns. Imagine, if you will, seven solid color divisions, white, blue, black, red, cream, chocolate, and lilac plus silver and golden division colors of chinchilla and shaded silver or gold and blue chinchilla and blue shaded silver or golden. And then there are the shaded, smoke, tabby, calico, particolor and bicolor divisions. That's not counting the various pointed patterns of the Himalayan. Eye color is related to coat color. For instance, white Persians have deep blue or brilliant copper eyes, other solid colored Persians have brilliant copper eyes, silver and golden Persians have green or blue-green eyes, and so on. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. When it comes to the Foldex's personality, you'll struggle to come across a more loving and people-friendly cat breed. These are felines who absolutely love cuddle and snuggle sessions with the humans in their life. At times, you might become convinced you're actually hanging out with a teddy bear as you lounge together on the couch or the bed. It follows that the Foldex is a cat who adores being petted, which also means they bring a soothing presence to the household. Along with being adorable, the Foldex has a strong inquisitive streak, so make sure to provide smart interactive toys to keep the breed mentally stimulated, along with suitable cat furniture so they can explore and play at their own pace. These sweet felines are also exceptionally approachable making them a great fit for big families or homes where there's a large amount of people always coming and going. The dignified and docile Persian is known for being quiet and sweet. She is an ornament to any home where she can enjoy sitting in a lap, surely her rightful place, being petted by those who are discerning enough to recognize her superior qualities, and playing house with kind children who will gently comb her hair, will her around in a baby buggy, then serve her tea at their parties. Persians are affectionate but discriminating. They reserve their attention for family members and those few guests whom they feel they can trust. Loud environments aren't a Persian style, they are sedate cats who prefer a serene home where little changes from day to day. With large, expressive eyes and a voice that has been described as soft, pleasant and musical, Persians let their simple needs be known, regular meals, a little playtime with a catnip mouse or feather teaser, and lots of love, which they return tenfold. This is one cat who is unlikely to climb up your curtains, jump on your kitchen counters, or perch on top of your refrigerator. 
she is perfectly happy to rule her domain from the floor or more accessible pieces of furniture. When you are at work or are busy around the house, the Persian is content to adorn a chair, sofa, or bed until you are free to admire her and give her the attention she willingly receives but never demands. As with all cats, it's important to keep up your Foldex as regular veterinary checkups to detect any health concerns early. Your vet can help you develop a care routine that will keep your cat healthy. Beyond scheduling yearly wellness visits with your vet, you'll want to add a scratching post to your Foldex's living environment. This can help promote healthy scratching and keep the cat's nails in good condition. While the Foldex has a sweet and laid-back personality, it's also important to make sure that there is enough space for the breed to play and exercise, so consider adding a cat tree to your home. The most important thing to understand about caring for a Persian is the need for daily grooming. That long, beautiful coat doesn't stay clean and tangle-free on its own. It must be gently but thoroughly combed and brushed every day, and regular bathing, at least once a month, is a good idea. Another factor to consider is the litter box issue. Litter may become lodged in a Persian's paws or coat. If the cat and the litter box aren't kept scrupulously clean, a Persian is more likely than most to just stop using the box. Excessive tearing can be a problem in this breed, so wipe the corners of the eyes clean daily to prevent under-eye stains from forming. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. It's a good idea to keep a Persian as an indoor-only cat. She's not a scrapper and would fare poorly against other cats, dogs, coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors. Nor is the Persian's coat made for shedding dirt, leaves and stickers. Letting a Persian outdoors just means that much more time spent grooming the cat. Persians who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The Foldex is a friendly feline who does very well with young children. Just be sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides, and supervise early interactions between kids and cats. When it comes to other household pets, the Foldex fares well with many domestic animals, including dogs. Always supervise early interactions between the new cat and existing pets. Ultimately, early socialization really pays off with this breed. Make sure to reward your Foldex for good behavior when you bring them home to your family. Persians aren't the best choice for a house full of boisterous children and dogs, but they have no objection to being the object of a gentle child's attentions or to rubbing along with a friendly dog who doesn't chase them or otherwise cause them anxiety. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.